الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد We should have obedience to Allah the Almighty and full obedience is only to Allah because when we look at the creation of Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala if the creation calls us to worship other than Allah or do something which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not pleased with, then there's no obedience to the creation. So even though Allah has given the parents an intense and immense right over the believer, that we have to be obedient to our parents, our mother and our father, we should love them. We should rush to wash their feet. We should rush to be obedient to them. When they say something, we shouldn't even hesitate and ask a question, why? or how, but in fact we have to follow that. And that's in accordance with the Qur'an and the Sunnah. And to your, your, your parents is, is, is righteousness and obedience. In addition to that, that great right that the parents have over us, we have to realize that if our parents call us to disobedience to Allah, to do something muharram, something that Allah hates and Allah is displeased with, then we cannot follow them in that. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لَا طَاعَةٍ لِأَهَدٍ فِي مَعْسِيَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّمَا طَاعَةٌ فِي الْمَعْرُوفِ رُوَهُ شَيْخَانِ The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that there is no obedience to anyone at the expense of obedience to Allah. And verily, obedience is only in righteousness, is only in good. This also comes to the, this also relates to the leaders, that Muslims are ordered to follow the Muslim rulers, the Muslim leaders, the leaders of the countries, the leaders, uh, if we had a Khalifa, if we had a, uh, the, the Imam A'zam, but we don't have one right now, but we have leaders of Muslim countries. As a Muslim, we have to follow what they say, in righteousness, had a muqayyid. This is restricted that we have to follow the leader in righteousness. That we cannot, we cannot follow them in disobedience to Allah. So for example, if the leader, the Muslim ruler says to you, take interest, you must take interest. Then it is not permissible to take interest because that will be disobedient to, disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a major sin. And the Prophet sallallahu said, there's no obedience to the one who orders you to disobedience. And if the Muslim ruler ordered you to commit zina, to order you to stop praying, you cannot be obedient to them in this. Because that re involves obedience, disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And although the Muslim leader has great rights over you, as the Prophet sallallahu said, Adina nasiha, Adina nasiha. Liman? Lillahi wa li kitabihi wa li rasulihi wa li a'immatul muslimin wa imamihim wa a'amatihim. That the Prophet sallallahu said, Nasiha, is a, the sincerity is, is, is for Allah and His Messenger and the leader of the Muslims. And that sincerity, meaning you advise the leader with sincerity, and you're obedient to the leader in ma'roof, in righteousness, not in disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another important point that we have to mention with regards to this is that also when the leader orders you to do something haram, or orders you to leave obedience to Allah. You do not follow them in that command, but that does not negate ta'a. That does not negate all aspects of obedience. You still obey the leader, you do not rebel against the leader. And this is in accordance with ijma' of the Salaf al-Salim. The pious predecessors from the Nasus of the Quran and the Sunnah have made consensus that it's not permissible to rebel against a Muslim leader even if he's a wicked fadger. And if you go back to the books of Creed, you'll find this all throughout those books, that although the leader may be disobedient, it is not permissible to leave, to leave obedience to him. We still are 
we still here obey in that which is right. Asami wa ta'a ala mariya al-Muslim fi ma yuhibbu wa qariha ma lam yu'minu bi ma'siyatin fi idha umira bi ma'siyatin fa la sam'a wa la ta'a So there is no obedience to, in disobedience to Allah. But if the leader orders you to obedience, you must be obey him. And if he orders you to disobedience, you must leave that disobedience, that act that he has ordered you to, dis to disobey Allah in. But the rest of his commands, you must follow. And that is with ijma of Ahlul Sunnati wa Jama'ah. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And bless us to be of Ahlul Sunnah. And bless us to be of Ahlul Jannah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.